Well, tomorrow, the New York International Auto Show opens to the public in the Big Apple, and this year, electric cars are taking center stage. But as Bradley Blackburn explains, buying one could be a little complicated. The Hyundai Ioniq 6. The World Car of the Year runs on e-power. Hyundai's Ioniq 6 took home the top prize at the New York International Auto Show. Like most electric cars, I know this thing can accelerate. That it can. The company took us for a spin. It starts at about $45,000 and can travel up to 360 miles on a charge. How quick can it go, 0 to 60? Officially 5.1. The Ionic joins a wide selection of electric vehicles at this year's show, as many consumers are making the shift. Last year, Americans bought more than 800,000 new EVs, a 65% increase over 2021. And Cox Automotive is forecasting 1 million sales this year. Many electric buyers have received federal tax credits of up to $7,500, but the list of cars that qualify is expected to shrink very soon. You think this is going to be a big seller? Oh, yes. Kristen Lee with Motor Trend says in mid-April, the government will reveal new rules. EVs made overseas or even domestic brands with certain imported components won't qualify for full credits. I guess if you have your eye on an EV and you know it's eligible for the full federal credit, you have a few days left to go down to the dealership. Tesla says the credit will be reduced for some versions of the popular Model 3. Some cars will remain eligible, some cars won't be eligible, some will be eligible for partial credit. The tax changes aren't expected to slow production. Nearly all the major automakers are driving ahead to an electric future.